<clears throat> getting the rear stab mount glued on and my super high tech clothespin jig here. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> glue on the pylon until I get kind of get everything kind of put together. Get the battery in it, check CG. And the fin's not glued on right right now either because I do want a little bit of right turn stab tilt. I've got this warp in the fin that actually is like a right turn twist. I may just leave that in it. <clears throat> so, you know, see how that kind of turns out, but waiting for the glue to dry now. Getting the horizontal stab DT line, all that stuff worked out. I've got the platforms glued on, everything flat and straight in the right locations. I did add some little uh, 1 32nd by 16th inch uh, strips here just to kind of act kind of like a little fillet, a little extra, to hold that on. This is all with the cement, modeling cement. So I've got that on there. I like to use that in case I need to remove these or, or do something, some kind of a repair. Those are removable with removable with acetone. So I bent up a little piece of the tubing that was supplied in the kit and trimmed it, drilled a hole here. So this piece fits right in here. So I'll cement that in place. But the idea is that your DT line comes up then attaches to the stabilizer and holds it down. So we'll run the DT line up through this hole. Probably loop it around that screw is probably what I'll do, the adjusting screw. And then with the rubber bands. Then I'll show you kind of how I add the uh, limit stops. But um, right now that's that's what's going on there. Okay, kind of getting things set up here. So I've got that little 90 degree tubing there and bend in the tubing there and another little guide here. So I'm getting ready to put on a line stopper so I can set the, the angle. What I like to use are these uh, bobber stoppers. So this is like fishing supply kind of a thing. And they go on fishing line. So what I usually do is I kind of put a little thin CA just to harden the end of the, the line here so it's a little easier to manipulate. But the way these work is you just little rubber bobber stopper things and you just slide them on. This one may be too small. We'll see how it goes. So now I've got that little bobber stopper on the line. So there it is. So what I can do is move that down the line here and what it'll do is it'll stop up against that. That way we can set the, the proper angle of the stab. And I'm going to go for 40 degrees. So I'll kind of get things set up here, but, but that's the idea. This, this will slide up and down the line, but it provide enough of a a stop to stop that stab tilt. So if you want like a low angle or high angle, whatever it is, so a little bit of adjustment there. So <clears throat> I'll kind of put it all together and, and kind of show you how it, how it ends up. <clears throat> okay. Got that kind of set up. So if you can, there's the, the line right there. What I'm using is uh, actually Kevlar. 50 pound Kevlar thread. I like it better than the monofilament because it's just easier to see, easier for my old eyes to see. But, uh, so this is it. So I've got that stopper, bobber stopper right there, and I've set it up for 40 degree angle on the stab. And if I need to change it, I can, but that's basically when the DT releases, that's what will happen. Pull it down. Then we'll set the other end of it up for the uh, pylon once I get everything put together and get the, 
get the pylon in the right place for the, the center of gravity. So that's the next step. Okay, kind of got it set up here. Just plugged it in. The pylon's not glued on yet, but I think I have it in the right position for the CG and I haven't glued on the fin yet because once I want to make sure I get the tilt right on the horizontal stab for a right turn and get all that kind of set before I glue things in. But this is basically dry fit. So let's give it a try. I did get the DT all finished up here. Got the rubber band loop there. I like to use these uh, little split rings from uh, Texas Timers, from Hank at Texas Timers. Same kind of a deal. I, I tied this around, the string around it, and then I used one of those bobber stoppers to kind of just back it up to that to keep things from getting loose. But uh, it's uh, on standby. Let's um, fire it up and see how the DT works. If I can hold this thing without in the way of anything. Uh, I do have my RDT close at hand too if I need to, but right now it just has a uh, kind of a cheap prop on it. I will put an APC on it, but that's a, uh, I can't remember the name brand of it, but just a standard kind of drone prop, a cheap one. So let's arm it. Armed. Let's see how it goes. Motor sounded weird. Might be a weak battery. I'm going to go ahead and RDT it. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Other than the weird sounded motor, um, worked good. Reset the DT. I have to get the charger out and see how that battery is. I've been, been using it quite a bit. But anyhow, that's it. Not real fancy. The next thing to do is some test glides. Okay, here's the first backyard toss. <laughs> a little Thanksgiving Day test glide after a few adjustments. Hmm. Good. Let's try another one. Ooh, almost hit the tree. 